Ricky of the Clump. Once upon a time, a queen gave birth to a son. He was very ugly. The queen was saddened by his ugliness. But a kind fairy promised her that her son would be very clever. He would also be able to gift his wisdom to the person he truly loved. Now, this little prince had a clump of hair on his forehead. So he was known as Ricky of the Clump. Ricky grew up to be a fine young lad and everyone could see that the fairy had been right about the boy's intelligence. When the prince spoke, he charmed everyone. He surprised them with his clever wit and intelligence. Seven years later, a neighboring queen gave birth to twin daughters. The first one was very beautiful. She was, however, declared stupid and foolish by the fairy. The queen became sad on hearing this. The second princess was born very, very ugly. The fairy told the queen, Do not be sad. Your second daughter will be very clever. No one will notice her ugliness. The queen thanked the fairy. She asked her if there was any way by which her beautiful daughter could also be, well, wise. The fairy just sighed. <sighs> there was nothing she could do. She told the queen that her beautiful daughter would be able to give the gift of beauty to the person who pleased her most. The two princesses grew up. The beautiful princess surprised everyone with her beauty. The ugly one was so clever that she surprised everyone with her intelligence. Just as the fairy had said, the beautiful princess was stupid. She barely spoke anything sensible. The ugly princess grew uglier day by day. But she gathered many admirers because of her intelligence and charm. At the same time, the beautiful princess was very sad. Nobody wanted to talk to her. She wanted to give up all her beauty. She desired to have even half of her sister's intelligence. One day, sad and lonely, she went to the forest to think about her bad fortune. At that moment, there stood before her a very ugly but well-dressed man. He was Ricky of the Clump. Ricky had heard of the princess's beauty. He had left his kingdom to look for her. He asked, Why are you sad? The princess replied, I am sad because I am very stupid. Ricky replied that he could help her. He said, I have the power to give good sense and intelligence to the person I love. I shall give you these qualities, but you have to promise to marry me after one year. The princess wanted very much to be intelligent, so she promised him that she would marry him after a year. Suddenly, the princess felt a great change come over her. She did not find any difficulty in talking sense now. She was able to speak clever words. She found that she could now talk easily. She was able to discuss any subject that she liked. People in the palace saw the change in her. They were happy to see her so wise, intelligent and clever. The king, her father, also called her to important meetings in the palace. He also took her advice. 
Now that the princess was intelligent, clever and so very beautiful, she received many offers of marriage. There was one handsome and powerful prince she liked. Her father told her that she could choose him as her husband. The princess once again decided to take a walk in the forest to think about her future. While the princess was walking in the forest, thinking deeply, she saw several men preparing for a huge feast. There was a long table laid out. Everyone was busy. They were preparing a large number of dishes. She asked them what they were doing. One of them replied, We are preparing the wedding feast. It is the wedding of Ricky of the Clump. He is getting married tomorrow. Ho ho! In a flash, the princess remembered her promise. And the very next moment, what did she see? Ricky standing before her. He had a happy glow on his ugly face. He thanked her for keeping her promise. He told her about the wedding arrangements. He told her that he had made these arrangements for their wedding. The princess was very confused and did not know what to say. She stammered and said that she, she was not sure at all that she wanted to get married to him. Ricky understood her. He explained to her that she could grant beauty to the person she loved. He also explained that she could do it in the same way that he had given her intelligence because he loved her. When the princess thought about Ricky, she realized that she loved Ricky because of his good qualities. She was only doubtful about getting married to him because he was so ugly. Then the princess looked deep into Ricky's eyes. She said, I wish for you to become the most handsome prince in the whole world. As soon as the princess made her wish, Ricky changed. He appeared before her, handsome and graceful. The princess smiled. She was happy now. They got married the very next day and lived happily ever after. For more entertainment, log on and subscribe to www.youtube.com slash Venus Kids World.